There's pictures. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, this is going to be me experiencing the genre of dark romance for the first time, specifically in the form of Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. Now, if you watched my last video, you know that I don't really read romance at all, but it is a genre that I've been feeling more and more curious about. It's something that I've been wanting to dip my little toes in. Now, obviously this is a dark romance, which is a subgenre of regular romance. I figured this would be an interesting place to start because I do gravitate towards darker books, books with darker themes, books with darker plots. You know, I read a lot of horror. I like disturbing myself from time to time, but I have no idea what to expect with this book. I haven't read reviews. I haven't looked up content warnings or trigger warnings. I'm going into this book completely blind, which don't do that unless you know you can handle it. Now I have seen some fan art of the male main character, which that looks interesting. So on the back, we have the manipulator in the shadow. It says, I can manipulate the emotions of anyone who lets me. I will make you hurt, make you cry, make you laugh and sigh. Well, oh, she's rhyming. She's a poet. My words don't affect him, especially not when I plead for him to leave. He's always there watching and waiting and I can never look away. Not when I want him to come closer. So one, she sounds a little bit like a sociopath. You know what? I'm into that. I support, I support a good female sociopath. And now we have this shadow. I didn't mean to fall in love, but now that I have, I can't stay away. I'm mesmerized by her smile, by her eyes and the way she moves, the way she undresses. I'll keep watching and waiting until I can make her mine. And once she is, I'll never let her go. Not even when she begs me to. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like a felony to me. But I'm interested. Oh, there's a playlist. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I cannot listen to music and read at the same time. Like, I see all the book girlies with their cute little Apple headphones, and I want to be one of them. But if I try and do that, I will not comprehend anything that I'm reading because I will only pay attention to the music. There's an important note. It says, this book ends on a cliffhanger. The contents are very dark with triggering situations such as non slash dub con between the main characters. I don't know what that means. Graphic violence, human trafficking, stalking, child trafficking, child sacrifice, child sacrifice. Mentions of child death and explicit sexual situations. I have no idea what I'm about to get into. I'm quite intrigued about how all of those things could be in a romance book, but we're about to find out. I'm a little scared. Okay, so I'm about 60-ish pages in. I don't have much of an opinion yet. No strong feelings. We have our main character, Adeline. She just moved into her grandparents' like old creepy house manor type thing. And Miss Girl is being stalked. But the fun part is we also get the stalker's POV. We don't know much about him yet. I don't even think we know his name. And we also get like these journal entries from, I think it's her great-grandmother who is writing about the same type of thing. Like her great-grandmother is also being stalked by this presence, but the great grandmother is kind of into it. So it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. some thoughts. I am currently on page 156 out of like 500 some, so I'm still not too far into this, but I'm feeling conflicted because when it comes to romance, contemporary romance, dark romance, I do not know enough about the genre or do I really have anything to compare this to? So I can't really be making critiques or judgments. I don't know how like a normal standard good contemporary romance should be should go and i just really don't know enough about the genre in general to be making like definitive statements so take this for what you will but everything about this feels like it came straight from wattpad like it was written on wattpad and then they printed it and so here you go and there's nothing wrong with that there is nothing wrong with a good wattpad story every now and then or all the time if that's what you like all of what i'm saying is more so just an observation rather than a judgment or a critique but like y'all know that stereotypical like wattpad main character narration dialogue 
that's very much what this is giving. Also, I think this is more of a me thing rather than anything having to do with the writing, but I am just so not used to dialogue and narration, like main characters who talk and think like people from my generation because i read so much fantasy that when like characters think or talk like teenagers or young adults like similar to how i would talk to my friends it just like throws me off so yeah i don't know if i'm just not used to it but some of the stuff said in this book it just makes me cringe a little bit also when i was reading all of the content warnings like child sacrifice and human trafficking i automatically assumed that it was the main characters participating in these things like i fully believed that it was going to be adeline and <laughs> the male main character out here doing like ritual sacrifice for some reason. Like, I just assumed the literal worst about these characters. I was so completely wrong. This might be a spoiler. I don't really think it is because it's just like background of the characters, but I don't know how much I can talk about a book without it being a spoiler because I don't know what I'm doing here yet. So if you've read this book and you think what I'm saying can be considered a spoiler or not, Please let me know. We now know that the male main character is like this hacker leader of this group who us human trafficking rings, rescues young women, and goes out and basically assassinates all these bad men who do bad things. You know, vigilante assassination vibes. So yay for that. Also, Adeline is not a sociopath as far as I know. She talks about being able to manipulate people with her words because she's a writer, not because she's a sociopath. And she is like able to make people feel things through her writing. Much more normal explanation than what I thought. So she's still being stalked. There hasn't been a ton of like face-to-face -face interaction between her and this mysterious male main character. He kind of just, you know, is leaving her anonymous texts. He like leaves roses everywhere for her, watches her from outside of her house. Adeline is still reading journal entries from her great grandmother who is now getting deeper in with her own stalker. I don't know how those two stories are going to align. And I really truly hope there is some deeper reason for this man to be so obsessed with Adeline. From his point of view, we see when he first like sees her and he is just like immediately obsessed with her. Like this is the greatest thing to ever walk this earth. If there is not some deeper reason as to why he feels that way towards her, I'm not going to like this. to be mad at but myself nobody told me to read this book nobody said hey this is a really good book give it a shot no i did this to myself if you have read this book then you know which scene i just experienced and all i could think was well i really hope that he cleaned that gun before he did that also there are like ghosts involved. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on anymore. I don't know how much more of this I can take. This book was written for one very specific purpose. People are not reading this book because it's a literary wonder. They are not reading this book for its literary value. And that's fine. Everyone reads for different reasons. I don't even read books for their literary value necessarily. But the reason people would read this book is not the primary reason for why I read books. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, the spice. I feel like I have a very unpopular opinion when it comes to books with spice. Books with... You know what I'm talking about? Most of the time I can do without it. I know that's a very unpopular opinion in this day and age of reading. I mean, I understand why TikTok loves this book because TikTok loves books with spice. And it's not like I'm sitting here like clutching my pearls like, oh good heavens my virgin eyes. I love the sexual tension. I love the buildup. I love everything leading up to it between the two characters. When it comes to doing the deed, I really rather that they would just allude to it. Like we get the buildup and then we know that it has happened off the page. Like reading descriptive scenes in books, I'm not into it. It doesn't do anything for me. Like it just makes me cringe and it makes me... That being said, that's quite literally all that this book is. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. If you love to read books for that reason, good for you. Love that for you. It's just not for me.
This hair is giving very much Bob. It's giving very much, what's your name, B.O.B., so they're calling you Bob. It's giving very much Dora if her father was Lord Farquaad. I cannot take this seriously. I cannot get past the dialogue in this book. I just cannot do it. I really, really tried. I wanted this book to be for me, but it's not. And let me give you an example of why. Now this is Zaid, the male main character. We finally know his name, but this is him like thinking to himself. He says, I don't have the goddamn time to deal with small fish when I have great whites floating around in my ocean. Too bad for them, I'm a fucking megalodon. And as far as I know, that's supposed to be completely unironic. And what sucks is I think I would actually normally really like the vibe of this book. Like it's spooky, it's haunted, it's Halloween-y. I love Halloween, I love all of those things. And like right now they're at this big, huge, like haunted Halloween carnival. And that sounds so fun. So if y'all know any other books with that type of vibe, please let me know. I also do think I like like the whole dark romance, mafia, I will kill anyone that touches you type vibe, but this one specifically, I don't think is for me. And I'm taking back what I said earlier in this video about how I thought it was just me not being used to this type of writing, me not being used to, you know, contemporary characters. It's not me. It's definitely the writing. I have like a little over 100 pages left, so I'm just gonna finish it and we'll see if this is redeemable or not. So I just came from Goodreads. Anyone want to take a guess? Take a guess what I rated this one? One star. She gets a single one star. Now, before I go on, I really want to make this clear. I don't want this to be a place where I come on here and I just talk about how much like I hated a book or how much I don't like books or how bad this book was. There are so many channels. It's all over TikTok, just like negative reviews of books you know i've said before i personally am someone who gets very influenced very like i'm very susceptible to other people's opinions when it comes to books if i see that someone has said something like very specific about a book it will affect the way that i think of a book while i'm reading it and i picked up this book with the intentions of liking it. I thought I was going to like it. I did not pick up this book knowing that I wasn't going to like it. I did not pick up this book just so I could come on here and say bad things about it. However, I think I hated it. I think I hated this book. And I just feel mean saying that. Like, I don't want to say that I hated a book. I had like 40 pages left and I was legitimately considering not finishing it. Like, I was very much forcing myself to finish this. I feel like you cannot call this a romance. There's no romance going on. Like you, we do not have a story of two people falling in love with each other, of two people pursuing each other. It's one person pursuing another person. It is this man, Zaid, he sees this girl, random girl, and just immediately is like, I'm obsessed with her. I will have her, I will make her mine. She is going to be the love of my life. And I said, I really hope there's a deeper reason as to why he is just so obsessed with her from just seeing her one time. No, I mean, I don't know. There's a second book. Maybe it's touched upon in that second book. Yeah, it's not romance. It, I mean, I understand that this book, its appeal is the smut. The appeal of this book is the, this is the spice of this book. That is why people like this book. There, yeah, there's just no romance. There is sex, a lot of it, and it's all non-consensual, which is, in the content warnings, but every single time that they, it is actively not consensual. Like, I don't know why in my head I was like, okay, non-consensual, maybe she's just like not really into it at first, which still not consent, but no, it is like actively fighting against, please stop doing this to me. I don't want this to be happening type of non-consensual, which it's in the content warning. And I also understand that that is something that people are into. 
I guess. Again, no judgment. If that's what you're into, then it's a good thing to explore through the safety of a book. But for me personally, it's not something that I am into. So like I said, there is no romance. We don't get the story of two people falling in love. The interactions between Zayd and Adeline are very physical. You know, for me, when it comes to the language that authors use while writing Spice, it quite honestly does the very opposite of what it's supposed to do for me. Like I personally, when I read the words, I want you to milk me, quite honestly, it makes me want to light myself on fire. And that wasn't her saying that she wanted him to milk her. It was the other way around. Those, you know, those key words, seed, folds, you name it, those words just, like, you know how people don't like the word moist? Which, if you don't like that word, don't read this. But all those, the other words that I just said are very equivalent to that word moist, but maybe on like, on a way, way, way more repulsive level. It just makes me want to like shrivel up somehow, if I could. I don't know what it is. I can read the most like repulsive, gory, descriptive horror books and be fine. But when it comes to stuff like this, I'm like shaking in my boots. But yeah, the story wraps up. You know, they figure out her great grandmother's murder. You know, there with the little journal entries. Zade was in the middle of busting, you know, these like high profile men in their satanic ritual. Addie was still grappling with her feelings towards this man. It ended on a very big cliffhanger and that's fine. I will stay right there on the edge of the cliff. Don't need to go any further. Now, I don't, I really don't know what else to say. This was my very first experience with dark romance. Luckily, I don't think this has completely turned me off from the genre, the genre of romance in general. I do still want to explore it. I want to get into it. I do think that I would very much like a mafia romance, a dark romance, just not one like this. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked it. I hope it was entertaining and I hope you stick around. I'll see you in the next one.